Are you a first time investor? Do you find yourself in a dilemma when it comes to choosing which investment instrument that you need to go for or opt for? Are you looking for an investment option that is not much riskier and at the same time gives you a steady return? If you are in any such confusion, then let me tell you that you need to invest in mutual funds. Why am I saying that? Well, let's explore that in this video. Hello guys, my name is Namita Pandey and I welcome you all to Freedom's English channel. And today in this video, we are going to explore and we are going to understand about what is mutual fund investment. And I will give you top 10 reasons as to why you need to invest in mutual funds. So let's get started. Well, the very first reason I would give you is mutual fund investments comes with liquidity. It offers you liquidity. The most important benefit of investing in mutual fund is that the investor can redeem the units at any point in time. Unlike the fixed deposit investments that if you choose to make, wherein you have to stay invested for at least minimum five years, unlike that, mutual funds gives you the flexibility to withdraw or to redeem the money invested. So here, mutual funds comes with the flexibility when it comes to withdrawing your invested amount. But here, you need to be wary of two factors when you're investing in mutual funds and when you're withdrawing them. And, that, and those are pre-exit penalty and exit load that comes along. Although mutual fund investment gives you this opportunity and gives you this facility to withdraw and to redeem the invested amount at any given point in time, this does not mean that in case if you're investing in mutual funds, this does not mean that within a year you have to withdraw the invested amount. This will come with a lot of consequences such as you might have to pay certain charges and certain fees if you're withdrawing the amount. But if you have any kind of emergencies, you can redeem these amounts. So this is one of the biggest benefit that you get by investing in mutual fund. The second one is diversification. An investor can invest in a few stocks at a time. But on the other hand, if you're investing in say equity funds, then you get to invest in multiple stocks. Equity funds offer diversification in many ways. First, you can invest in several stocks. Second, you can invest in various sectors. And thirdly, you can invest in other asset classes as well. There are a lot of benefits you get by investing in equity funds. Well, as an investor, you can own a share in the equities of the companies across different capitalization as well as pan sectors. Now, by that, I mean you can invest in, say, large cap companies, mid cap companies or small cap companies, depending on the risk you are ready to take and depending on what is the objective with which you are investing. And when I tell pan sectors, here you can invest in a lot of sectors, for example, education sector, for example, technology, for example, energy, finance, etc. So here there are a lot of investments that you can make across sectors depending on your interest. So through diversification, let me tell you, you can benefit from the profits of all the companies that you've invested in, as well as you can reduce the risk with the distribution of the funds that you make. So with this comes the next benefit, which is risk management. So owing to diversification, where the funds are equally distributed among all the sectors and the stocks that you're buying of different companies, it spreads across and also balances out and also minimizes the risk that you're taking with your investment. So here, for an instance, if you're investing in one company, if you're buying a stock and that stock is underperforming, then that might be covered up and, it, and another stock may pick up. So here you can balance it out. Similarly, if you're, say for example, if you're investing in one sector, say for example, if you're investing in, say, energy sector, which is not quite doing well, or say, construction sector, which is not doing well. On the other hand, let's say you have also invested in, say, technology and that sector is really doing well and you and if you have invested in technology sector and you earn profit so here you can balance out here you might face loss but on the other hand you might gain a lot of profit so here there is a balancing of risk that you take with your investment so here let me tell you that mutual fund investment reduces the stock as well as the sector specific risk to a very great extent because here the investor you as an investor you're not only dependent on one single stock or the industry but rather you're diversifying your investments and thus take the benefits of all. The next benefit is flexibility in investment. 
Among all the benefits that you get out of investing in mutual funds, one of the most important is its feature of flexibility. Here, let me tell you, the investors did not have to put the huge amount of money to invest or to start investing in mutual funds. For example, let's say today you do not have a lot of money, but you need to invest. So you can choose mutual funds. So here, whatever capacity you have and whatever amount you can pay, you can start investing in mutual funds. So here the investment can be made as per the cash flow position that you have currently. So here, for example, if you're withdrawing a monthly salary, then you can opt for SIP, which is Systematic Investment Plan, and every month a fixed amount will be invested in mutual funds. For example, if I am earning a monthly salary, then let me tell you that I, I have started with a minimum amount of just rupees 500 that I invest every month towards mutual funds. The next biggest reason that you need to invest in mutual fund is wealth creation. Yes, equity funds tend to generate the highest returns among all the kinds of investments that you make. Here, let me tell you that they have the capacity to offer inflation beating returns that can help the investors to create a good corpus for themselves in the future and make their financial future stable. Here, investors, those investors having a long term goals for capital generation should invest in equity funds. Let me tell you, although there is an element of risk involved here whenever you're investing in equity funds, let me also tell you that in a long run, in a long duration, over a period of time, it will bounce back and give you the highest return. The next reason is mutual funds offer you a variety of products. Which means that today if you're investing in mutual funds, you can choose to invest in any product depending on the risk profile as well as the investment objective. With what motive intention are you investing and for what goal? So today, apart from equity funds, you can also choose to invest in funds like hybrid funds, funds like debt funds, also liquid funds, and also the tax saving schemes, etc. So there are so many products of mutual funds alone or assets alone that you can choose to invest in depending on the risk profile, depending on how much of risk are you able to take when it comes to investment. The next reason is power of compounding. Yes, this is for those investors who opt for a growth plan rather than the dividend plan. So what do we mean by compounding? Well, compounding basically means that whatever investments you have made, you definitely earn some kind of a return or the interest on that. Here, the return or the interest rate that you earn, you do not redeem that, but rather you reinvest so that you can further broaden your investment base. So investing in mutual fund also gives you the benefit of compounding, wherein over a period of time, let's say over a period of say 40 years, 50 years, a minimum of one lakh rupee, it might turn over a period of time to even one crore. So this is power of compounding. The next benefit you get is tax efficiency. Well, let me tell you that equity funds are taxed at 10% as well as 15% of rate. Here, 10% you pay for if you're making, say, long-term capital gain and 15% you have to pay as tax when you're making short-term capital gain. Although they are taxed, let me tell you, they are also, if in case you're making 1 lakh rupee of long-term capital gain, then here you do not have to pay any kind of tax. So this is tax efficient. Also, let me tell you how you have another option wherein you can invest in mutual fund, but also at the same time, you can save your tax and that is through investing in ELSS, which is equity linked saving schemes wherein in one financial year if you're making an investment of rupees 1.5 lakh then you do not have to pay any kind of tax which means it is exempted under section 80c of the income tax act moving on to the next reason you get the variety of investment objective when you're investing in mutual fund you get to meet various types of investment objectives like capital appreciation and also income well, let me tell you that the equity mutual funds can help you to create wealth through capital appreciation. While on the other hand, if you're looking at say income generation, then you can opt for debt mutual funds. Also, let me tell you, hybrid mutual fund is one such investment wherein you can get both, which is capital appreciation as well as generate wealth over a period of time. The last reason you need to invest in mutual fund is you get to choose the mode of investment as per your convenience. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, if you're investing in mutual fund, here you get two, four modes of investment. The very first one is lump sum, wherein if you have a huge amount 
in your bank balance and you want to invest that money then mutual funds gives you the opportunity to invest that huge money at one time let's say if you have one rupees extra in your bank account then what you can do is you can choose to invest that entire one lakh in mutual funds this is a lump sum option that you get the second mode of investment is sip which is systematic investment plan wherein one specific amount will be deducted from your bank account every month so this is another option wherein a small amount you can contribute or you can invest in mutual fund the third option is systematic transfer plans now let's say for an instance if you have invested in debt funds and you're not quite happy with the profit or the returns that you're earning and you want to switch to another fund for example then what you can do is you can opt for systematic transfer plans wherein your investments made in debt funds will gradually be transferred to say equity funds wherein you can see if you're getting more profit in equity fund when you can choose to transfer from, from say debt funds to equity funds and the last option or the last mode of investment option that you get by investing in mutual fund is systematic withdrawal plans now here what you can do is you can choose to redeem your money on a monthly basis which means it can give you a regular source of income when you are investing in mutual fund so there are so many modes of investment when it comes to investing in mutual funds that we have already explored so these were some of the reasons as to why you need to invest in mutual fund and how beneficial it can be for you if you are a first time investor and if you are confused where you need to go for and what investment you need to choose. Now here let me tell you whenever you are investing in mutual funds do not blindly invest in any mutual fund that you see. Here let me tell you you need to do a little market research you need to analyze a fundamentally strong companies that you can invest in and you believe that those companies will grow in future. So even when it comes to mutual fund investment you need to do a little bit study about the company whose stocks or shares you are planning to buy. So this was it for today. I will be back with another interesting video. So till then if you have liked this video do not forget to hit on the like button subscribe to the channel and, and also you can write to us on the comment section what are the videos you would like us to cover and also if you have liked this video so thank you for watching freedom get wise break free